IronCAD 2015 continues to improve its third-party integrations by adding a new integrated multi-physics application. Once installed, you'll find under your add-ins ribbon a new IronCAD multi-physics ribbon group. Simply just add an FEA to your model and you'll have various analysis types, whether they're static, steady state, dynamic, buckling, frequency domain, on the various dimension types, whether they're 3D or 2D plane type dimensions. Go ahead and set, select OK to add your analysis type and you'll see the new multi-physics browser appear on the right hand side. And you can add different physics types which make it truly multi-physics to where not only can you run a stress but you can also run thermal, electromechanical all at the same time to really give you the true results of the analysis. You can also run multi-step analysis to give you more precise and in the future you will have access to fluid type analysis as well. When you click through the browser, you'll see things like the uh, model that's added and this material that's added to all the parts. For example, we can see that we've added a carbon type material to all the parts. If we want to add a new material, we simply just go up to our model, select add a new material. We can add the various type of material, whether it's steel. Let's just maybe add a different type of steel for our forks here. And then we can just add our particular forks that we want to add to that. And we can accept that. And OK. And you can see now we have two materials. Uh, most of our parts are under the one material type and the others on the other, the one that we just added. We can actually add a constraint to this. For example, we want to fix various end conditions on our part. We can simply use the 3D environment, select into our environment to see the components that we want to fix. And we're just going to actually just fix the back end of our fork uh, left here and just apply that as a, a fixed constraint. And you can see that it gives some graphical elements that you have full access to control the size by going into the model preferences by right clicking on the analysis. You can see that these are the, the scaling of the, the control systems there. So let's just make those a little bit smaller. And you can see that it's a little bit more uh, feasible for our model to just show the display. Next we'll need to add our load to our particular model. So we'll actually just add a, a pressure or a force in our case, we'll just add a pressure along this the top of our forks that's going to add a various uh, weight to it. And we'll go ahead and hit OK. And now we can just simply hit Auto Solve, which will automatically mesh and give us the results of our analysis. And you can see this process go through. And included in this version of IronCAD 2015 is you'll have a 30-day full evaluation giving you all the capabilities to test all the capabilities of the product. And after your 30 days, it will drop down into our starter mode, which still gives you the full capabilities, but it limits our mesh quality to give you a little bit lower mesh, but still gives you nice results in that are fairly close to accurate for some models, but for higher end models, you'll need to have a full version, which we offer as a basic uh, modeling capabilities for various analysis types and an advanced system that gives you some of the more uh, capabilities like the buckling and such. And as you can see, once the results come back, you can see it comes back and gives us our, in our case, a displacement magnitude. We can animate that to see the displacement of our, our model. We can turn that off. You can also change your contour to give various uh, different type of information. In our case, if we wanted to see the equivalent stress, we can just show our stress types. We can also set various uh, ranges for our contours and things like that. We can update our screen. We can see where the loads are a little bit uh, more stress is occurring, which is at the bend of our model. And we can go ahead and animate the scale again to see that result. And since this is fully integrated in IronCAD, you can actually simply just go back to the model. In this case, maybe we want to actually change our model a little bit. Instead of having these two blends uh, down here on our fork, we may want to actually change those to be a bit larger. So let's, let's make that a little bit bigger. We'll just make that one. Uh, maybe a little bit larger than that as well. Maybe we'll make it uh, a little exaggerated, a little bit stronger, make it two on this one. And we can also do the same thing on our other side, just by simply using the IronCAD capabilities. Make those both two inside of there. And it's to do our result. All we have to do is go back and hit Auto Solve. It will maintain all of our information on our model and just rerun and remesh our, capa our model and return our results again with the new changes to our model. So it's completely integrated into our environment and gives us a nice result and a quick access to make modifications and to see those mod uh, results of the new simulation. And once it returns, it should leave us in the same uh, 
analysis result type, which we left off in the stress, uh, equivalent stress, so it should return us back into the equivalent stress, and we can see those loads and the stress changes now a little bit higher up on the fork. Join us that it's not now, it's not in the curvature, it's actually a little bit higher up. But again, we can animate the result to see how that stress is occurring and our values are changed as well. So a very nice integration into the IronCAD application to really verify your models for your strength and stability of your models in various uh, analysis types, whether you're adding myth, uh, thermal analysis, stress analysis, and even electromechanical uh, analysis coming into your models.